boxable rumor. That I do actually have a boxable, yeah. You do? Some prototype boxable. That's down in South Texas. Yep. The world blinked in collective surprise when Tesla CEO Elon Musk, already known for his unpredictable moves and boundary-breaking innovations, unveiled a sleek, ultra-modern $10,000 house designed to redefine the way people think about home ownership. The announcement, which came without fanfare yet carried seismic implications, immediately sent ripples through industries far beyond real estate. This was not just about downsizing or creating an affordable shelter. It was a full-blown disruption engineered by one of the most influential tech minds of the 21st century. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Musk, whose ventures have spanned electric vehicles, rockets, neurotechnology, and artificial intelligence, now turned his sights to one of the most fundamental human needs, housing. But this wasn't just a philanthropic gesture or a design experiment. It was a deliberate, calculated move to reset expectations around affordability, sustainability, and mobility. With housing costs soaring in major metropolitan areas and homelessness plaguing cities across the globe, the concept of a $10,000 home wasn't just innovative, it was incendiary. The house itself, deceptively simple in form, resembled a compact minimalist structure with clean lines, modular construction, and a self-sustaining ecosystem. Built by a startup aligned with Musk's technological ideals, the home is prefabricated, easily transportable, and constructed using energy-efficient materials. It's designed to be unfolded and made livable in a matter of hours. Everything about it screams efficiency, both in production and in function, yet it does not skimp on quality or aesthetics. It's smart, elegant, and unmistakably Musk. Immediately, analysts began to assess the implications of such a product entering the market. Traditional home builders, many of whom rely on large-scale construction projects with lengthy timelines and substantial resource consumption, suddenly faced an existential question. What if people didn't need to spend hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars to own a comfortable, stylish home? What if a house could be delivered the way Tesla delivers vehicles, complete with integrated solar panels, climate control, and smart connectivity? Real estate developers and construction firms weren't the only ones thrown into turmoil. The financial industry, which profits massively from long-term mortgages, home equity loans, and real estate investment trusts, found itself at the edge of a potential chasm. A shift toward ultra-affordable, modular homes could destabilize traditional housing markets, upend lending practices, and even change the trajectory of urban development. It hinted at a future where land, not the house on it, becomes the premium asset, if people even needed land at all, considering the home's transportable nature. One of the most revolutionary aspects of this home is its integration with Tesla's existing technologies. The home is designed to operate off-grid, powered by Tesla's solar roof technology and supported by the Powerwall energy storage system. It could theoretically be dropped anywhere with sufficient sunlight and function independently, breaking free from traditional utilities. This positions the house not just as a shelter, but as a self-contained living unit, one that can generate its own electricity, collect its own water, and even purify air with advanced filtration systems. The environmental implications alone are monumental. Traditional housing construction is a major contributor to global carbon emissions. By contrast, Musk's compact house is manufactured using sustainable materials and techniques that drastically reduce the carbon footprint. Moreover, its reliance on renewable energy sources means that long-term operation of the home could be entirely emission-free. If adopted at scale, this kind of housing could become a critical tool in combating climate change, especially in areas prone to natural disasters or regions lacking access to modern infrastructure. But it doesn't stop at sustainability. The social and geopolitical impact of Musk's move is also worth examining. In regions where housing shortages have become critical, such as parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and even within the United States, these homes could provide rapid, scalable solutions. They could be deployed in disaster zones, refugee camps, and low-income communities, offering dignity, shelter, and autonomy in ways that traditional aid and development efforts often fail to deliver. The announcement immediately redefined the concept of home ownership for younger generations. Millennials and Gen Z, who have increasingly struggled to enter the housing market, now had a new beacon of possibility. The dream of owning property, which had drifted further and further out of reach due to economic instability and inflation, suddenly seemed attainable again. 
A $10,000 home, complete with smart systems and energy independence, could allow for greater financial freedom, geographic mobility, and even nomadic lifestyles. Even the transportation industry felt the tremors of this news. The idea of pairing a Tesla vehicle with a portable home opens up visions of a decentralized society, one where people are not tied to fixed locations. Imagine working remotely from a national park, then moving your entire home to a beach the following month, all without ever needing to sell or lease another property. This mobility isn't just romantic, it could fundamentally alter urban planning, traffic flows, and population distribution. Municipalities and governments, particularly those facing housing crises, must now confront the implications of such a model. Zoning laws, building codes, and infrastructure planning are typically rooted in static, permanent housing. Musk's model introduces a disruptive element of flexibility. Will cities adapt to accommodate such homes? Will regulations be rewritten to allow citizens to live in mobile, self-sustaining units within urban centers? Or will this innovation lead to further segmentation between traditional homeowners and a new class of ultra-mobile residents? Educational institutions also took note, as the home represents a new teaching model for architecture, engineering, and environmental science. This isn't just a structure, it's a fusion of systems. Students studying sustainable design, renewable energy, or smart technology now have a living example of integration at its finest. The modular design opens up possibilities for customization, scalability, and innovation that traditional housing rarely affords. Future architects and engineers might not be building skyscrapers or suburbs, they could be designing ecosystems in boxes. Musk's reveal also cast a spotlight on the broader vision of colonizing Mars. For years, he's spoken of making life multi-planetary. In that context, developing compact, energy-efficient living units makes perfect sense. These homes, small enough to be transported via rocket, could be prototypes for interplanetary habitats. The skills and technologies honed here on Earth could be instrumental in ensuring human survival in hostile environments. This brings the entire venture full circle, from solving terrestrial housing challenges to laying the groundwork for life beyond our planet. It also prompts deeper philosophical questions about the nature of luxury and consumption. For decades, the American dream has been tied to the image of a sprawling house with a white picket fence. Musk's home challenges that ideal with minimalism and utility. It suggests that happiness and comfort don't require excess square footage but thoughtful design. In a culture dominated by consumerism, this shift towards simplicity, backed by technology rather than stripped of it, might mark the beginning of a societal reset. In design circles, the house is already being hailed as a landmark achievement. It proves that design elegance can coexist with affordability. Rather than being sterile or utilitarian, the home exudes character. Natural light, multifunctional furniture, and seamless integration with digital tools make it an object of both desire and practicality. This sets a new bar not just for affordable housing, but for design in general. Why shouldn't every product, regardless of price, be beautiful, efficient, and environmentally responsible? Technology companies, especially those in the smart home sector, are paying close attention. The rise of a $10,000 smart home presents an entirely new platform. Think of it as the iPhone moment for living spaces. Developers can now envision apps, integrations, and ecosystems tailored to a standard modular framework. This paves the way for a new kind of living experience, where your house updates itself, learns your habits, and interacts with your car, phone, or even wearable devices. The home becomes not just a space, but a living, learning companion. Retail and interior furnishing sectors may also feel the quake. A shift towards smaller, modular homes means a demand for new kinds of furniture, compact, multi-use, and often foldable. Companies that traditionally manufactured oversized sofas and massive dining tables will need to adapt. Meanwhile, startups focusing on compact living will find themselves thrust into the spotlight. Musk's move essentially legitimizes an entire niche market, giving it both visibility and credibility. Then there's the question of how this influences public perception of wealth and success. If a $10,000 home becomes a sought-after item, not for what it lacks but for what it represents, freedom, sustainability, and design sophistication, then cultural markers may begin to change. A minimalist, eco-efficient lifestyle could replace the traditional status symbols of square footage and marble countertops. And if the richest man in the world chooses to live in such a house, what message does that send to the rest of society?
The unveiling wasn't just a product launch. It was a declaration of intent. Musk is staking a claim in the most intimate part of human life, where people eat, sleep, and build their futures. His home is more than just a structure, it's a manifesto. It says that innovation doesn't belong only in factories, on launch pads, or behind the wheel. It belongs in the heartbeat of civilization, the home. As investors, urban planners, climate activists, and consumers digest the full breadth of what Musk has introduced, the larger story begins to form. This isn't just about solving a housing problem or introducing a novel product. It's about redefining the ecosystem of daily living. It's about creating an infrastructure for the future, where homes are no longer liabilities but assets of energy, mobility, and intelligence. Tesla's new home raises the bar in every possible dimension, cost, efficiency, design, and environmental impact. And it sets a new trajectory, not only for Tesla, but for any company brave enough to challenge entrenched norms. The $10,000 home, backed by Musk's credibility and vision, might very well become the catalyst for the most profound shift in human habitation since the invention of the skyscraper or the suburban dream. It's a provocation, a promise, and a blueprint for what comes next. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, leave your comments below and tell us. What are your thoughts on Elon Musk's $10,000 house? Will it disrupt the industry? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.